So let's say we have a word right here, right? This is us. And you know enemy general starting here. And then you see that enemy jungle ends up recalling or ends up ganking bolt with 24 CS, right? If enemy jungle ganks bolt here with 24 CS, that means he's done this camp, this camp, this camp, this camp, this camp, this camp, or this camp. And then you're ganking bolt and afterwards, he's gonna go back into top side because that's where his next camps are respawning. Hey guys, I've been a challenger and professional player for the last 7 years. After devoting myself to content creation, I created the complete fundamental laning course. It consists of 10 tricks that you will be able to use in every single game that you play, regardless of what champion you main, as it is all about the fundamentals. This is the perfect course to start your journey to climb to your desired rank, and for the first 2 weeks, it's 20% off only on my side. Go check it out, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, running to matchup. Lovely. I have a Sejuani in jungle, though. It's fine. I go grasp in this matchup, though. Maybe we should take Ignite TP. Whatever. I'm flushing Ignite, though. I can go Deep Blade, though. Because I have grasp from cookies. We have five melee champions. It's kind of correct. Well, Elos is gone. It's Master MMR. What does Biscuits Boots actually offer you? I have Biscuits and this, right? This is extremely good because I play Flesh Ignite. So I'm always going to have Ignite faster back than this Rankton. And my Flesh back faster too. And Biscuits makes my early lane 10 times stronger. I think Wispy, I think that this setup is 10 times stronger. Because my Biscuits will enhance my early laning a lot. And I'm allowed to spam a lot more abilities. Then my early lane is better, which will improve the rest of my game too. And if you're saying I'm running Triumph to do dives on the enemy turret, I think that's a really bad reasoning. He's not bone plating, I trade here. Very nice. His Q comes back much faster. He can do two Qs between my W cooldown. So I trade whenever I have my W or my passive. He's gonna get level 2 faster. Oh, I walked back. That was bad. I gave him a lot of sustain. He gets level 2 there. I get passive though. Hello it's okay. I don't have passive or W right now, so we play very safe. You're playing with your W and your passive cooldown. That's all you do. I let the last hit go because I don't want to get queued. I let some message go. It's bad for me temporarily, but it will help me here. I'm gonna get level 3 and he's not gonna have E. Very nice. This game is over. What do you want me to do for you, Sejuani? You got invaded. Nothing I can do. I have to push in this wave as fast as possible so I focus the casters. I don't care too much about the last hits. I do want Sheen though. I get level 4 very soon. I need my passive. I get level 4 from the main dying. No. What the shit? He just one-shots me? Well, that sucks. Well, I'm gonna get one cookie. That's something. No, Nock didn't mess up the wave. Well, a little bit actually. Okay, that's good. Nocturne is gonna come back into bot side. Actually, he could go back into top side too. I can win short trades. I'm gonna get level 4 here. I mean, he traded into my bone plating and passive, so that's a really nice trade for me. I wanted to cue this me, and so it pushed into me. Nice. He's dead, by the way. I think I should recall. Mm, I have to thin out a little bit and then recall. He still had ignite. I forgot about that actually. Made it a little bit closer. This wave will walk up in time to take over the aggro here. That's why I can recall. Dies without cookie, by the way. True. Without cookie, I would have died there. Without the cookie, I would have 100% die. I don't want to make it obvious at all. He's dead. How are you passing, Seju? Holy shit, why don't you walk around like this? You pig. Literal pig. No chance, not six yet. TF is old. No chance coming in top side. There's a plant in the river that I could play for. He cannot crash this in time, but I am on the ward. Oh, it's close. This trade is recalling right now, but it's gonna come back from base. This is why you can trade aggressively at like 6 minute mark, because plant spawns at around 6.15. And if you then take an aggressive trade, whilst the wave's pushing into you, it's good, because you can always take the plant. And now he's lost half his HP, both potions, and I need to just avoid getting ganked here. Oh, this is kinda bad to lose. And extra HP here is really bad. I don't wanna get dove. It's probably recalling. I'm gonna hold this next wave out of the third range, so I delay the bounce. Now it's a very big slow push, and now it's more to my side. If I didn't do this trick, the means would walk into my turret, and it would bounce super fast. I have to care about two global ultimates in top lane, like this. This is what I don't want. I should've queued so I get the main. This ranked does have the best spacing. I'm still scared of Nocturne, I have to primal respect, I'm weak side. 
This one pig is it. So now I have to hyper this wave, but you see right now I can push it in a relatively comfortable spot. I'm not super comfortable here. Well. Suck my dick. I could have lived the gank. I said not super gankable piggies. Am I bad that I have to respect for 15 minutes and my bot lane still dies? You're just dead. Yeah, I don't like this play. I have Trinity in my base. Sejuani is like an uh, interesting player. Let's just put it there, yeah? We agree? I, uh, I think we agree, chat. Oh, I get full plate. Nice. At 13 HP. Not just bot side. Oh, I get so much gold here. It's been an interesting game. We need to now expand our lead. Like, I'm very fat. Enemy bot moves. Like, right now, we check what's enemy win condition, right? Because I'm in a very luxurious position now. This is definitely a Tabby's game because this guy's going Blade Run King. I definitely want Tabby's. Nocturne is pretty strong. They have two dragons. Their bot is pretty strong. That's pretty much it. But I want Tiamat here. I'm gonna go Tiamat and then I'll go this and sweeper he has blame to king now yeah i have 20 force that did 720 damage there on him 720 extra damage on 20 force that seems extreme did i really do 720 extra damage in no way right oh he is exhaust i should check i got one extra turret shot I'm just inting. I could get this turret. What have I been doing? I should just get the turret and dip. That was so stupid. Can I get this? No, I can't. Oh, I got two plates. Not bad. You, you asked for it. Suck my dick. <laughs> I'm not moving here. Like I said, I'm giving away this dragon pretty much. All my team should do is just live. I'm picking them to go away. They don't listen, not my fault. I had no E or no ult yet. This game is hard because they're on soul point and they have some champions that can hard counter me. They have a lot of undodgeables to see. I need to make sure we get next dragon. That's most important. We can kill Twisted Fate here. I'm moving for TF. Took it. I wanted the kill. Can climb with Orn? Yes. Can climb with every champion if you have fundamentals. That's why fundamentals are the most important thing to learn. You can apply fundamentals to every champion you play. I can get double global here. And I can sell deep blade refill, get 240 gold. So I'm 40 gold off. Nocturne could still be hovering with ult. But he still has E? Or he has E again? I don't want to flash. This is risky. Good. I might not have to go hole breaker now. I kind of want to though. Actually, I should have built death sense. Why do I go hole breaker? I should build death sense here always. I'll play for this. Now I go death sense. They are full AD. Sure, they have some magic damage, but it's very minimalistic. Have to be careful for Nocturne. I took a lot more damage because Akali was there. I saw I saw Nocturne hovering in top set for one second, so I knew I could play like this. If I had not seen Hopchen, I could never do that. That's why seeing people on the map is legit the most broken thing, even though people don't realize this. Very often, just seeing people on the map allows everybody to play different. Uh, Nocturne wants to ult. I mean, should wait. To... Nocturne wants to ult. Okay, but why don't you wait? Okay. Win a 50-50. Lovely. Win the game from it. Well, nice. If they got the soul, it would have sucked, but I still think we win the game here. So we would have always won that fight, even if they got the soul. Now I just need to get enough gold for death stance, so I get 300 here. I need to make sure I can get death stance on this recall, that's what I'm thinking about right here. So I got 300 from this, I can sell this for 240. I need this wave plus golems, and then I have my death stance on base. Alright, we wait a little bit in base. We need to wait, like 20 gold. Oh yeah. Bro, how long am I CC'd for? Like, holy shit! 
Guess because I'm 4 HP, I can succeed for like two and a half seconds. Minutes. I hit him. How does he die with stopwatch? Maybe she didn't have it. Get your older bro. Problem. <laughs> Puff Camille! My champion is so unbalanced. Maybe I should have went in. I'm scared of no turn. That champion sees me for a nanosecond. Sorry, a minute. That was a good E. Bad. Bro, I played this guy so hard. <laughs> Minus 1k. <laughs> Minus 1k. Holy shit, my champion is fun to play actually. I want to play more Camille. And this is like one of the worst Camille matches of the day. Ranked is one of the worst matchups. 1k true damage! How is that okay? In what world is 1k true damage okay? How is that okay? <laughs> I do 1k true damage!